How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a good day today. Today we're going to be going through how to take images out of photos in Affinity Designer slash photo version 2. So without fur further ado, let's get right into it. So first thing you're going to want to do is get your image into Affinity Photo. But you're going to want to make sure it's a PNG. And if your uh, image is not PNG, just go to File, down to Export, and you can export it right there. It's pretty simple. Anyways, what we're going to do is go to the Selection Brush tool. The shortcut is W. And what we're going to do here is use our bracket keys to adjust the size of the space that we're going to move or deselect. Um, but we're just kind of editing the size of our brush here. So let's zoom in. In this example, we're going to be taking this dude out of the image. So we're going to click this. We're going to select our person kind of best we can. Just do a rough outline of him. Just brush him in there. And if you go over like this area right here, it's not a big deal. We'll be able to fix that later. But we're just, for the moment being, we're just trying to make a rough outline. Just like that, I have everything selected. You can see like the little dashed lines across the outline you can see down here I did go over but we're gonna fix that in a minute it's not a big deal make sure everything is selected like this so next thing you're gonna do is switch this option over here and we're going to change our brush size using the left and right bracket keys to make this a little bit smaller so we can refine the edges right here just to make them snap a little better clean up the edges or whatnot they're saying, how do I get this image right here that it's going to show up in our little cutout? So we're going to scroll in, make this smaller, and just do the same exact thing as we were doing before. And if you want really aligned snapping, so see how this is a white, kind of a white color, and this is brown over here. We can hit the um, enable snapping, so it'll kind of like jump to the pixel colors that you're looking for. Did a little overlap there, but we can just change the brush size and edit that later. Okay, so as you can see, pretty simple process so far. We're going to clean this up. Yeah, and then um, we'll just go along the edges. It was in the wrong one there. Just go along the edges, clean it up, get as close as you possibly can. So I will see you once I'm done with that. And now that we got what we want in our image selected, what we're going to do is make sure background is selected, and we're going to delete. Now, what you see here is everything in that um, selected area has been deleted. So if you're removing that person from an image, this is how it's going to look. You can do it like that, but say I just want that person and I want the background taken out. So. We'll hit Control Z or Command Z. Then we'll go to Select and we'll invert the pixel selection. So everything that's being selected is everything around him. So now if we hit Backspace, it's just him pop popping up. And if we want to bring this to a different thing, we can just export as a PNG. Save it. I already have a file or whatever. But yeah, it's simply how it is. And if you want to make these curves or whatever ultra fine make it even look better you can hit this refine feature and what the refine feature is going to do it's going to outline everything that's selected in in red and you can mess with your border width so as you can see it kind of shrinks the image down that you cut out you can also smooth it up so the pixels around the um, segmented cutting part that's going to be a little smoother so like it's not going to look as jagged and whatnot when you do end up cutting it out and there's a couple more options that you can mess around with here I usually kind of play with a smooth and border width mainly but you feel free to check it out thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed uh, don't forget to drop a like and please subscribe so see you guys in the next one